Good afternoon. This is Brian Split with Allendale here with your closing commentary on Thursday, August 26, 2010. We did have the grain markets higher today, uh, led by the soybeans. Um, the settlements on uh, September corn up 11 and three quarters today at 416 and a half. December corn was up 12 cents at 432. Uh, we had September beans 13 cents higher at 1013. The Novi contract was up 15 and a half cents today at 1014 and a half. Moving over to the wheat, we did have September wheat up eight and three quarters at 656 and a half. July 11 new crop up nine and three quarters at 697 and a quarter. Um, there was a, a little bit of news this morning. Um, we did have some good export data out for corn and wheat. The uh, export numbers were neutral for soybeans, but uh, other than that, there's really a, a lack of new. Excuse me, lack of news uh, for the session today. Um, you know, typically when you see the grains sharply higher like they were today, there's something fundamental going on uh, and some kind of news that came out that day to drive us. But uh, honestly, it looked like today was a lot of technical buying by the funds. You look at uh, recent price action for December corn holding that 415 area two days in a row. A little bit of a short-term double bottom, giving the funds reason to step back in and buy, um, and probably risk risking below that 415 area at this point. Uh, same thing on the Novi soybeans. We hold, held the 993 and a half area two days in a row, uh, and with this market unable to break through the 990 uh, area again, have the funds jump in, willing to buy, and uh, most likely risking below 990 at this point. So. Um, other than that, we did have some news that the uh, Buenos Aires Grain Exchange is estimating the Argentine corn area up 9% this year. Um, other than that, uh, the Sov Econ uh, is indicating that uh, Russia could import 6 million metric tons of wheat due to the drought. Um, there was estimates uh, previously last week that they could import up to 5 million metric tons. So. You know, not new news, just some jockeying of, of the actual numbers here. Um, otherwise, uh, the International Grain Council did also cut the forecast for world wheat production by 7 million metric tons, again, citing the Russian drought as the reason. Um, other than that, uh, moving to some of the other markets, looking at livestock, we did have cattle uh, cash traded 99.50. That's uh, steady. Um, most of the trading should be done for the week here, uh, dressed up at 155. Um, we're watching economic data for uh, uh, thoughts on where we're going to see this demand continue to come from. Uh, if we continue to see poor economic data come out like we've seen earlier this week, then we might start to think that that demand that's pricing this move higher may not may not be there, and this may uh, cause this market to set back a little bit. But otherwise, settlements today had uh, October fats down 15 at 98.52. The Dees contract was up 37 at 165. On the feeder end, had September feeders up 27 at 116.67. On the hog end, we did have hog kill this week, only down 3%. Um, the previous four weeks was down 7%, so it looks like the hogs are coming to town. Um, we also are seeing pork prices starting to break here. So October did settle a dollar thirty lower at 75.80. Had the Dees contract down a dollar twenty at 73.57. Um, as far as outside markets, had the initial jobless claims actually down uh, last week, and I think that's the first time in four weeks. Now crude did benefit from that. Uh, crude broke the string of five consecutive lower settlements yesterday. Uh, did settle 84 cents higher today at 73.36 on the nearby contract. So holding that 70, uh, $70 support that we did test yesterday on the lows. Um, otherwise, the uh, equity market was not able to hold the initial rally from that uh, jobless claim information. Uh, probably still uh, looking at the recent housing data from earlier in the week with the uh, existing and new home sales really at uh, very poor levels. Um, Probably one of the reasons why crude oil was able to maintain some of that strength today is the dollar index has been down all session, uh, down about 45 to 50 at this point. So with the dollar down, maybe the, the crude oil is looking more at the dollar than the, the equities for influence at this point. Um, one other market to mention here today, cotton. We did have the December cotton move into new contract highs today and closed into new contract highs. So that's a bullish uh, uh, close for cotton. I know there's still a lot of estimates out there that this December contract is going to work its way towards 90, so we'll keep an eye out for that. But um, we are uh, 
on the last day tomorrow for our uh, harvest survey or our yield survey. So please, if you have not already contributed your information to us, give us a call uh, either uh, today or tomorrow so we can get your data and give you a, a heads up on what we come up with a week before the USDA numbers are released. And if you have any desire to talk about anything else uh, market related or anything that we covered in this transmission, give us a call at 1-800-2-MARKET. That's one 800 Two six two seven five three eight, or you can check us out online at www.allendale-inc.com. And again, this is Brian with Allendale. Good good luck trading the rest of the week. Thank you.